First one we got here is the Cobb Flex Fuel Kit. Uh, I'm going to be doing flex here pretty soon. This will let my access port see how much ethanol is in my tank. And uh, so I can run that flex fuel. I don't know how to say this. Do you know how to say it? <laughs> how do you say that? Dutch works. Dutch, Dutch works. Whatever you said. Yep. <laughs> so this is the fuel pump that they recommend when you're doing flex. Um, in conjunction with the flex fuel, I'll be swapping this out. Uh, they don't suggest to use a stock one because. That's what the internet says. Yeah. I forget exactly why, but it's better to upgrade it to flow with uh, ethanol. These are newer. I build a race car. So currently I have TGV deletes, but these are the full TGV deletes. So normally the ones that I have, I believe, are just half the size. So these are the full meal deal. Um, I'm supposed to get more power out of this by swapping it all out. It gives you more of a straight flow all the way down. Normally, the most people run the, I think they're the upper ones. And then people keep the lower stock ones. But we'll see how these work out. And then we got Super Bros smoked turn signal. Just add a little bit of color to the turn signal. They're replacing these ones. So, give it a little color. I think it's backwards. Uh, this is a Turbo XS XS, uh, just a vacuum cover, pump cover, just for aesthetics. So it is. Goes with the whole red thing. Oh, there Turbo we go. XS. Turbo XS. <laughs> Then I got the Lexus CH200, the two channel uh, dash cam, so front and back. Uh, everybody seems to be rocking dash cams nowadays, just in case if you get uh, into an accident or just safety reasons, if you park your car, it'll keep an eye on it. You can set it to record at all times, or if somebody taps on your car, it will turn on and start recording. So. This has already been open because I haven't installed it yet. It's the Parrot Perrin Turbo Inlet. It replaces the stock plastic one that mounts to the turbo, which this one is a bit uh, wider. I think it's three inches all the way across. I kind of did a hack job cutting it, but <clears throat> it won't flex as much as the plastic one, and I've heard that the plastic ones have broken from the top pieces before. So, I got this off Amazon. It's just a uh, gloss black Avery vinyl. That will be going up here. Make this all black. I'm not sure on the pin yet, and the grill, or not the grill, around the grill. This will be black. I'm gonna try to see how a roof spoiler looks on the car. Just sit back here. Ooh, that mock it up. Something like that. Obviously, I need to wrap it first because it'll flow that way. Yeah. And yeah. We'll see. If I don't like it, it comes off the double side tape. But this is, uh, I think, believe it's the OLM one. I don't know if it's UV speed. So, we'll see. Those are the ones, there's carbon fiber ones, there's more aggressive V shaped ones. 